This thing is a beast. This is the new 52 inch Toro Grandstand Multi-Force. You can tell by the Multi-Force hitch receiver right here for you to put multiple attachments that Toro keeps coming out with. Most notably uh, a snow plow, a snow broom for the winter. There's also uh, now they have an aerator and a dethatcher. And the thing that I purchased that I value the most out of those, the Pro Force blower attachment. So I don't have that available right now. It's still at my dealer because I don't need it right this minute. So they agreed to keep it on a pallet until I need it and then they'll install it for me. They need to hook up the low flow hydraulics on the side here that connects to all this so I can control it up here that will control the blower. So you take this cutting deck off when you put the attachments on because you don't need the cutting deck anymore and basically the belt and the power and everything is diverted to whatever attachment you have if you have a powered attachment like the blower and the broom and the plow and all this different movements that are involved that's why you have the different hydraulics the low flow hydraulics control certain things uh, for like the power broom you need low flow and high flow hydraulics that's a whole another topic so I just need the low flow hydraulics which I'll be able to use the blower and if I get a snow plow I would be able to use that as well but I just got this multi-force 52 inch with a bunch of other things that I'll be showing as time goes on as I'm using them and so on but right now this is the main thing that I'm using is this mower my 48 inch grandstand that I've had for years since 2016 uh, has, is in the shop right now with a hydro leak so hopefully they'll be fixing that soon so I've been using this in the meantime and this thing is a beast. It's got a bigger engine on it because it's, it's a bigger deck and it also has to power a different attachments. So you got the Kohler EFI. This one's a 26.5 horsepower engine. My 48 inch grandstand is only 22 horsepower. So definitely huge increase in power. But basically the blower, the power blower is the same thing as uh, the, the, the same principle as the stand-on blowers that you see now, different products out there like the Hurricanes and things that you can stand on and ride around with a massive blower low to the ground so that you can blow massive amount of leaves from parking lots, debris, all that, as well as when you're on properties and you have a lot of leaves that you have to blow to the curb to suck up if you have a, a vac system or if you're just blowing them into the woods or something like that and you just have mass quantities of leaves, you can do it just with that or that can be part of your setup where you've got guys with backpack blowers keeping all the leaves out of the mulch beds and into a main area for you know your big stand on blower, ride on blower to keep pushing the pile back wherever you need it to go, which is what my plan is gonna be. We've got our 8010 Echo backpack blowers which are beasts they did the trick last year but there were several properties including my commercial property and potentially another upcoming commercial property that if i win that bid where there's large parking lots and just areas in general that need to be uh, cleaned off you know during leaf season so having a ride around blower like the attachment for this multi-force will be key because I can save a lot of time while the guys are getting all the edges and keeping everything corralled into a designated area so this can keep blowing the pile where it needs to go so save a lot of time it's just another investment in your business to be more productive more efficient which ultimately makes you more money makes you more profitable